This is our home screen. When you boot up the display, this is the welcome screen. And as you could see, it's very clean. We have reduced it to the relevant things, whiteboard, browser, screen share, and file manager. They are always accessible from the home screen. And I will show those applications in a minute in a different video. First of all, how to navigate on the home screen. You can swipe between the uh, different screens, just as you're used to from your smartphone or tablet. And on the top side, you have those three uh, words, home, work, connect. And on work, we have the applications which are pre-installed or also the applications you could install on the display. This is also an aspect we will address in another video. And on connect, can see the seven inputs, video inputs, which are available on our display. And um, if you ask yourself, where are the, those inputs located? Well, you can find two in the front, a USB-C and an HDMI. And for the others, we have integrated this little help tool, which shows you the position of the different inputs um, on the device. So that makes it easy to find it. And then we have also implemented here a list of useful websites for the manual support page um, for your product. What else? Swiping back to the magnifier, this is a search. Um, of course, you can enter any text. Let's say we're looking for nature. Uh, you can see we have a web uh, search integrated, which can uh, look for videos and also you can uh, search for uh, applications and files on this device. So let's just have a look for an app like Adobe Acrobat, which is pre-installed, you can have find it here, same for applications. So last not least, we have those small icons on the top right corner, which are quick access buttons to the different um, topics. First of all, the USB drive allows you to access the file, the, your USB drive through the file manager. Uh, network, Bluetooth and hotspot and each of them allows you to enter into uh, the settings menu where you can uh, address the different settings. Okay, that's it for the home screen. Thanks for watching. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to how to add a favorite on the home screen. As you could see, I've already added one the VLC app. How can you do that? Let me show this. Go to work where you have all the applications and just do a long press of any of the app. You could see you have the star which is for the favorite and a trash bin to delete the application. Let's select the favorite. So just type on the star on any of the app you'd like to have, and that's it. Just type next to it to deactivate the selection function, go back to home screen, and it's magic. It appears on the home screen as your favorite. Okay, you've done a mistake, no problem. Just do the same, long click on the app, on the home screen, and you just select the minus, and you will remove that from your home screen. Okay, there's another way to do so. Let's have a look to the site menu. Go to apps and here we have the favorite items as well. And as you could see, VLC, EduCap, both are here uh, on the home screen and on the site menu. Adding an, another app, it's as simple as clicking on the plus, which brings up a list of available applications and again you can select any of the application and it will appear on the home screen and synchronized on the favorites menu as well 
and the same way you can delete or remove the app from the favorite list just by clicking on the X on the side menu and synchronously it will remove on both areas. Thanks for watching. In this video clip we will have a look on the sidebar. The sidebar is on the home screen and also shown on every source which allows you a quick access to some tools and very important uh, elements of our user interface. You can access it easy on the left and the right side by clicking on this small black icon with the six white dots. Opening it, it will bring up a black list on the left or on the right side, so it's the same on both sides and you can easily switch between both sides and you will find a list of icons. Home and back are just what you're used or what you expect from it and actually it's the same button as you have as a mechanical button on the front of the screen, home and back. Therefore I won't go any further in detail on that, those two. Connect allows you to access on the source menu which allows you to switch between um, the home screen and any other source connected to this uh, display. The green button shown here indicates that this source is active so clicking on OPS switches to the OPS source and as I mentioned you have the um, sidebar menu available on the OPS and any other input as well. So let's go back to home screen and continue. Next icon is apps. Apps has three different um, folders available. First is favorites. I will explain that in a minute. First, let's have a look into active. This is the last list of active applications. You can do two things at that point. First of all, you can select the active, one of the active apps and which brings the app to the front. So the browser, which has already been open, will come to the front. Same way is to close all apps. So that shuts down simply all apps opened on the screen. And so you will see the list is empty. Tools includes a variety of helpful tools such as calculator, spotlight, stopwatch, freeze, screen recorder, screen lock and countdown. Let me select some of them. Spotlight is a very helpful tool to highlight different um, topics on the screen. This is uh, frequently used by teachers or also can be helpful in presentations. You can resize it just with a pinch and zoom gesture and you can close it by clicking on the exit icon. What else do we have in apps and tools? Stopwatch is a small tool that allows you to stop the time or to set a timer and there will be an acoustic notification once the time is over. Freeze allows you to freeze the screen so let me do that on um, the OPS source. You can see the website is dynamic once you freeze the screen the image is frozen uh, while it is running uh, further in the background and this small icon up here indicates image frozen and you can just stop that by tipping here on the X down here. So let's go back on the home screen and continue with the tools. Screen recorder is a small tool which allows you to record your on-screen um, activities. Um, screen lock allows you to lock your screen like you used to do so from, from your tablet or smartphone. In this case we haven't set a pin code which is available in the settings. So there's one last tool missing which is the countdown. It's a small tool which reminds you on a certain date like an anniversary or 
um, birthday or whatever you can use it. It's just that you type in the title, select a, a certain date, generate, and then you have the small icon on top and it reminds you that there are just six days left. Can be useful in uh, classrooms, can be useful in bis some business applications. So let's just close that and let's have a look further. Annotation is uh, a tool to uh, annotate on the screen. I will explain this in a different video. So let's just skip this and screenshot is the same. Uh, we'll also do that later on. What else do we have on the sidebar? Let's have a look to control center. In the control center, we have collected all icons, all quick icons for the network connectivity, like Wi-Fi, hotspot, ethernet, and Bluetooth. And a long click on it opens the uh, related settings menu, which allows you to easily activate or deactivate or connect uh, to any network or device. Apart from that, we have this beautiful eye, which activates or deactivates the um, blue light filter of the screen. And next to it, the finger activates the touch sound. So activating the touch sound means you hear like a click or dot uh, whenever you um, do a touch on it. Below that, we have the brightness level. So you can adjust the brightness of the backlight of the screen or manually, or you simply activate the automatic uh, sensor, which is integrated next to the status LED down here. And so the display is um, regulating the brightness of the backlight automatically, depending on your, on your ambient light. Last, we have the volume, um, the volume of the speakers of the display. And also below that, you have a quick access button to mute it just in case. So last not least, power off. And this menu is separated between shutdown OPS. So if your OPS is running, you can switch it down, shut it down without switching the source. Or you can simply click on switch off display. A warning message uh, will appear, which allows you to cancel your input, of course. And then uh, if you activate that, um, shutting down will also shut down the OPS first. Thanks for watching.